I became involved with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders through the audition process. I was a dance major at TCU and heard about the auditions on the radio and went to the auditions at Texas Stadium and I made it that first year for my rookie year in 1984. I cheered for the Dallas Cowboys for five seasons and then I was the assistant director for one season and became the director of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders in 1991. Now I have been in the director's chair for training camp for 27 years, this making my 28th team. My role has grown from kind of strictly managing rehearsals and appearances to playing a, a large role in a television show and the marketing of the cheerleaders, the management of the department, the publicist for the cheerleaders brand and the protector of the cheerleaders brand. So there's a lot of roles within my job title. I've kind of seen it all, heard it all, and been through it all too. The relationships I've built over the years with the staff that manages the cheerleaders is like family. We spend so much time together that we are family for each other. And through the years, we've grown to respect each other's wisdom and experience. Um, I always on our staff like the fresh new ideas. There's times too now when you put me and Judy in the same room and we literally finish each other's sentences. Before the show, people didn't realize the cheerleaders as individuals and might not have the respect um, for them as dancers and athletes and high achieving women. I think now, the show has highlighted just how talented these ladies are, how impressive their journeys are to get to the squad. It's been very rewarding to be a part of the building of the most highly visible cheerleading performance team in the world. A new season of DCC premieres Thursday, August 2nd at 10, 9 central on CMT.